Accessibility, adding markings. In this lesson, we're going to learn how you can go about adding various markings to your score using keyboard and screen reader. Now, some markings that you add, we've already looked at adding notes and rests, but some of the additional markings you want might want to add, like staccato markings and uh, tenuto markings, there's actually keyboard shortcuts for at least some of these markings. But for many of the markings we might want to add, we're going to need to use the palettes. And that's what we're going to focus on in this lesson, is how to navigate the palettes using the keyboard. So the first thing that I need to do before I can add a marking is select a note or rest that I want to add that marking to. So I'm going to hit uh, Control Home to make sure I'm at the beginning of my score. Bar line, single bar line, measure one, beat one. And next, I'm going to uh, just hit right. It's going to skip right past the clef and the key and all that and take me right to the first note of the score. Note B flat four eighth. Measure one beat one tempo equals 180. So let's say I want to add a dynamic marking. These are uh, some of the markings that we can find in the palette. So I want to get to the palettes now. And the palettes are located in the left sidebar. So in MuseScore, we're going to use F6 and Shift F6 to move through the various kind of the main areas of the interface. And so since this is the left sidebar, it's to my left, it's kind of moving backwards, I'm going to use Shift F6. Palettes radio button checked. So it took me right to the palettes. Now I want to point out that in my case the palettes were already open within that sidebar, but there's three different tabs uh, that are normally open in the sidebar. So you might not have heard palettes. You might have heard one of the other ones. So let me actually press, uh, I'm going to press the right arrow to move to the next tab. Menu button. And now again. Instruments radio button not checked. And now again. Properties radio button not checked. So there was instruments and then there was properties. The menu was just a menu that goes with the palettes. So these are the things kind of with those are the three different tabs. So if palettes hadn't already been selected, um, let me hit right arrow again. Palettes radio button checked. So palettes is checked. If it hadn't been checked, you would have wanted to press space uh, to make sure that the palettes is the one that's checked as opposed to instruments or properties. All right, now that we're there, I want to enter the palettes area. So I'll press tab to enter the palettes area. Add palettes button. So once I've entered the palettes, the first thing we have is a button to add palettes. And uh, this can be useful to, because MuseScore has a limited set of palettes that it displays by default. And then there's additional palettes you can add later. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, press the right arrow right now. Because remember, every time we press tab, we're in a little grouping of buttons, and the arrow keys will take us through the additional buttons within that grouping. I'm going to hit the right arrow. Search palettes button. This search button is going to be your friend, because now you won't have to know which palettes are open or not open, or which palette a given symbol is in. If we can name it, we can find it. So I want to use this search button here. I'm going to press space to activate that search. When I do this, I get a search box. Space. Search edit blank. So it is now ready for me to enter a search term. Now, when it comes to the dynamics, um, I'm never sure how they're listed, if it's just listed as the letters MF or if it's listed as mezzo forte. But I'll tell you what, I'm just going to search for the word dynamic. I'm just going to type the first few letters. D Y N. So I am now finding all of the elements that have DYN in them anywhere. So this is going to be all of the various different dynamics. So I now want to kind of move through the list of results and find out, uh, well, what do I have? So in order to get to the list of results, now I want to press tab to get in there. Dynamics palette contains 35 matching elements not selected. There we go. So the dynamics palette was uh, 
um, available. I'm going to hit down arrow to find out what else there was. Lines palette contains one matching element. S, not selected. So there was a dynamics palette and a lines palette that contained some matching things that have dynamics to them. Let me hit uh, down arrow again. Dynamics palette contains 35 matching elements not selected. So we're back to dynamics, so I know that those are all the matching elements. Well, the dynamics palette is probably what I'm going to want here. Um, I think I said I wanted an MF, but I'm kind of second guessing myself. That's kind of wimpy. I might choose something else. So to actually enter the palette, um, I'm going to first press the uh, right arrow because I, there's, a, there's a button here to either uh, collapse or expand um, the palette, the dynamics palette, and I want to make sure it's expanded and that I'm currently on the expand collapse button. So I'm going to press right to get to that button. Collapse button. So it says collapse button. So that means the palette is currently expanded, which is great. That's what I want. Because it is now currently uh, expanded, uh, I'm just going to press down to enter the palette. P, 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 not selected. All right. Well, it reads the letters. There we go. So I uh, will hit down. P, 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 not selected. And again. P, 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 not selected. And again. P, 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 not selected. So it's still a lot of P's. P, P, not select. P, not. M, P, not. M, F, not. F not selected. F, that's the one I want. So now I now that I have the dynamic I want, I can hit enter. Dynamic F, measure one beat one edit. And it has added it to the score right there on measure one beat one. And I am now in the score ready to kind of continue entering notes. If I hit alt right right now. Note C5 8th. Measure one beat two. I'm on the next note, and I can, if I want, return to the palette to enter more things. So that was using the palette search mechanism, and in that case, I, you know, I searched for uh, dynamics because I wasn't sure what dynamic I wanted. If I had known that searching for F would get me just to that marking, I would have typed it. But you know. F is going to match a lot of things. There's a lot of markings that might have the letter F in them. So I, I think that searching for the dynamics palette was a little smarter. But if you really don't know what you're searching for, you don't know the name of the thing to search for, we can just traverse the uh, palettes directly. So let me get back over to the palettes area with Shift F6 again. Palettes radio button checked. And now I'll press Tab to enter the palettes again. Search edit selected done. So I'm in that search box. If I want to actually clear the search and just um, uh, traverse the entire list of palettes, I'm going to press tab. Dynamics palette uh, contains no. 35 matching elements not selected. I'm not going to press tab. I'm, I'm now going to press shift tab to get back to the search box. Search edit selected done. And now I'm going to hit the down arrow. Done. Clear button. That's the one I want, the clear button. I want to clear that search box. So I'll press space and space, add palettes button. So the, the search box has now cleared and I'm back to the add palettes button, which is where I was before I started that whole process. At this point, I should be able to then press tab to enter the main palette area, the actual list of palettes. Clef's palette not selected. So there's a list of palettes here. Clef's, and I'm just going to keep hitting down arrow. Key signatures palette not selected. Time signatures palette not selected. Tempo palette not selected. Pitch palette not selected. Accidentals palette. Dynamics palette not Articulations palette not selected. Yeah, articulation sounds interesting. So if the articulations palette is the one we want, I want to take the same approach that I took before of making sure I open that uh, um, palette. When I did the search result, it turned out that the first search, the first palette matching was already open. But here, I'm going to probably need to open this myself. I'm going to hit the right arrow, which is going to take me to the expand or collapse button. Expand button. So it says expand button. That's telling me it's currently collapsed. So I'll press space to go ahead and open the palette space. Now the palette is open. And now that the palette is open, 
the down arrow will take me into the palette. Slur not selected. Accent above not selected. And I'm just moving through to hear some of the articulations. Staccato above not selected. Staccatissimo above not Tenuto above not selected. Lower. Tenuto staccato. Marcato above not selected. And so forth. So you can add dynamic, I mean, uh, articulation markings here. So I've got the marcato. Sure, why not? I'll hit enter. Marcato above, marcato above. Measure 1B2. So that's how I was able to then add an articulation. So you can either use the search facility if you kind of have an idea of what you're searching for, or you can just go through the list of palettes to uh, um, find the particular type of marking that you want. But that process of making sure the palette is expanded, and then once you've made sure it's expanded, uh, you can then use the down arrow to move into it and to move through the palette and then hit enter to add a marking to your score. That's how we're going to use the palettes to add markings to our scores.